Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be studying class 5th math, chapter number 5th, fractions, problem set number 19 we will be completing in today's video. So this is the problem set that we are going to complete in today's video one by one sum. I am going to explain all the sums in this video. But before this, if you all haven't watched practice set number 18, you all have to go and watch 18 and 17 as well because after understanding that exercise only you will be able to solve this and the link of all the exercises related to this chapter has been given in the description box you can go and watch it so before starting that was a disclaimer that I wanted to add that first go and watch 17 and 18 then only 19 is going to be understood properly or else you are going to jumble up so let's start with the first question over here, you all have to write the proper symbols for greater, smaller or equal to in the box. Okay, Matlab, you all have to compare the number. At times, you all can directly also write if the denominators are same. If the fractions are like fractions, you all can directly write is equal to sign. But if there are no like fractions, you all have to convert, you all have to check and then only you all have to understand and uh, see which number is greater and then only write the greater and smaller number. So let's start with the first example. I'm going to explain you each and every sum, children. So don't worry. 3 upon 7, as I said, these are like fractions okay why like fractions because the de denominators are same now like fractions i have already explained in the previous video so therefore i am telling you all you all have to go and watch it when the both the denominators are same even the numerators are same that means both the fractions are equal now for the second one three upon eight and two upon eight Okay, so which one is greater? 3 is greater or 2 is greater because the denominators are same. So which is going to be greater? Obviously 3 is going to be greater. Okay, now the third sum is 2 upon 11 and 10 upon 11. You'll have to compare again. Now both the denominators are same, isn't it? Both the denominators are same. So we can compare the numerators. Which number is greater? 2 or 10? Obviously 10 is greater then only you all can write the greater and smaller sign if your numerators are same. Now for the fourth example, I'm going to show you. See, 5 upon 15 is there and the other number is 10 upon 30. Okay, so over here, 15 ke table mein, 30 ke table mein 15 nahi aata hai. But 15 ke table mein 30 aata hai. That is 5 into Two. That means we have to first get the like fractions. Like fractions kaise aate hai? By finding the equal denominators. In ke denominators are equal. Then only we, are say, we can say that the fractions are like fractions. Okay. So we have studied this method in the previous video. I will show you in short over here. So 5 we can write it in this way. Okay, now 5 we can multiply it with 2. Yaha pe bhi 2. This we have to keep it as it is. So 5 2s are 10 and 5 15 2s are 30. Okay, now this fraction has changed to this one. So this is going to be 10 upon 30. So dono bhi answer same hai. That means it is going to be an equal fraction. Alright, so you all have to solve it in this way children. For that, as I mentioned in the start only, you all have to first study practice set number 18. Now 5 upon 8 compared to 5 upon 9. Now purposely they have given this numerator same, but we don't need to write the numerator same. We don't have to watch the numerators, we have to watch the denominators. So multiply 8 with 9 and 9 with 8. So 5, 8, into 9 and over here 5 into 8 9 into 8 so 5 nines are 45 8 nines are or 9 eights are 63 sorry 72 sorry my mistake 8 nines are 72 5 eights are 40 and 9 eights are 70 
2. Now you will see which number is greater. Obviously this side means this is going to be greater. So here we greater ka sign de do. And the other one which is the main fraction. Maha pe bhi humne greater or smaller ki sign de na hai. Next is the sixth one that is 4 upon 7 and 4 upon 11. We have to write the answer. So 4 multiplied with 11, 7 multiplied with 11, 4 multiplied with 7, 11 multiplied with 7. Okay, simple as that. We have multiplied the denominators with each other. 7 ko 11 se multiply kar liya, 11 ko 7 se multiply kar liya. Then we have multiplied the denominators also along with the numerators. So, ab 11 4s are 44, 7 11s are 77, 4 7s are 28, 11 7s are 77. Now which number is greater? This side is greater. That means this fraction is greater. Okay. Now seventh one is 10 upon 11 and 10 upon 13. Which one is greater? So 10 into 13 and 11 into 13. You have to be 10 into 11 and 13 into 11. Now many of you all are going to say the teachers are going to multiply. Karna hai. So yes, we have to multiply. So we, this we can multiply. This is 130. Okay, and here we will get 110. These answers are the same. Rehne wale hai. So we have to only multiply it with 1. That is 13 multiplied with 11. 1 3s are 3, 1 1s are 1, plus 0 1 3s are 3, 1 1s are 1, 3 4 1. That is 143 and 143. So which one is greater? 130 wala is greater. So this is going to be the greater fraction. I hope everyone is getting the uh, concept of finding the uh, greater and smaller number. Now we will solve the 8th one that is 1 upon 5 and 1 upon 9. So 1 into 9, 5 into 9, 1 into 5, 9 into 5. Okay, we will not add this sign over here. 9 1s are 9, 5 9s are 45, 1 5s are 5, 9 5s are 45. This side is greater so that means this number is also, this fraction is greater. 9th is going to be 5 upon 6 and 1 upon 8. So 5 into 8 and 6 into 8, 1 into 6 and 8 into 6. 5 8s are 40, 6 8s are 48, 1 6 are 6, 6 8s are 48. That means again this side is greater. If you all have understood 18 uh, problem set no children, this is going to be very easy. But bas hume compare karna hai. But the exercise is same as we have done 18 and 19. So the tenth sum is 5 upon 12 and 1 upon 6. Now 12 ke table mein 6 nahi aata but 6 ke table mein 12 aata hai. So we will keep this number, this side as it is. But we are going to change this in order to get 12. So 5 upon 12, 2 upon 12. The denominator is same but this side is greater. That means this fraction is greater. Now let's move on to the 11th sum. Uh, it is 7 upon 8 and 14 upon 16. So 7 into 16. No, we will keep this as it is because 8 ke table mein 16 aata hai. Okay, so we will keep this fraction as it is. We will change this into 16. So ye wala jo hai, we will keep it as it is because we are going to get 16. 7 twos are 14, 8 twos are 16. C. So 14 and 16, it is already been given. Both the numbers are equal. That means this is going to have a equal to sign. Then the 12th is 4 upon 9 and 4 upon 9. Oh, that's easy. That means it is, is equal to. 13th sum, 5 upon 18 and 1 upon 9. So 5 upon 18, we will keep it as it is. 1 multiplied with 2. 9 also multiplied with 2. So we have 18. A jayega. This is going to be 18. So this will be greater. Okay, 
now we will move on to the 14th sum 2 upon 3 and 4 upon 7 so 2 into 7 3 into 7 4 into 3 7 into 3 7 2 is a 14 3 7 is a 21 4 3 is a 12 7 3 is a 21 which one is greater 14 side is greater so this will be greater 15th is 3 upon 7 5 upon 9 so 3 into 9 7 into 9 5 into 7 9 into 7 3 nines are 27 6 3 7 nines are 63 5 sevens are 35 7 nines are 63 so this side is greater 16 sum and the last one is 1 upon 5 so 11 into 5 4 into 11 4 into 5 11 into 5 1 into 11 5 into 11 4 fives are 20 11 fives are 55 1 11 is 11 11 fives are 55 so this side is greater now over here the practice set number 19 is over and again I am repeating you all have to first watch practice set number 18 because I have explained that exercise in detail. If this exercise is easy, hona hai, so that means you all have to watch the other two exercises before this and then only you are going to get this exercise at the point. So the link has been given in the description box. You all can go and watch. So see you in the next video and then take care. Bye.